simplifying algebraic fractions, addition and subtraction. Recall that to add, subtract or compare fractions, the denominators must be common. So for example, 1 over 4 plus 2 over 5 cannot be added directly because the denominators are different. One way to make the denominators the same is to take each fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the other. So in this case, 1 over 4 can be multiplied by 5 over 5, since 5 is the denominator of the second fraction. We can take the second fraction and then multiply it by the denominator of the first fraction, which is 4. So we're going to multiply 2 over 5 by 4 over 4. So 1 over 4 times 5 over 5 is 5 over 20, plus 2 times 4 is 8, over 5 times 4 is 20. So now we have two fractions where the denominators are the same. So we can now add the numerators directly. So 5 over 20 plus 8 over 20 is 13 over 20. Now the same rule applies when adding or subtracting algebraic fractions. So if there's a pronumeral in the fraction, we still apply the same rule. In other words, the denominators must be common. So for example, 2x over 3 plus x over 4. We need to make the denominators common. We apply the same technique that we applied in the previous example. So we take the first fraction, we can multiply it by the denominator of the second fraction. So we multiply it by 4 over 4. We take the second fraction and then multiply it by the denominator of the first fraction. So that's going to be 3 over 3. So 2x times 4 is 8x over 3 times 4 is 12 plus x times 3 is 3x over 4 times 3, which is 12. Denominators are common, so we can just add the numerators. So 8x plus 3x is 11x over 12. The following is a harder example involving the subtraction of two algebraic fractions. Simplify 4 minus x over 4 minus 3 minus 2x over 5. Notice that we have the same problem that we've had in the previous examples in that we're subtracting two fractions where the denominators are different. So we cannot subtract these directly. We need to make the denominators the same first. Now in the first fraction we have a denominator of 4, which means that we can multiply the second fraction by 4 over 4. And in the second fraction, we have a denominator of 5, which means that we can multiply the first fraction by 5 over 5. So that gives us 5 outside of 4 minus x. So notice that the 5 multiplies the entire numerator over 4 times 5, which is 20, minus 4 outside of 3 minus 2x over 20. Now that the denominators are the same, we can combine the two fractions together. So that equals to 5 outside of 4 minus x minus 4 outside of 3 minus 2x all over 20. We can expand the numerators. So 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times negative x is negative 5x. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. And negative 4 times negative 2x is positive 8x. And again, that's all over 20. And now simplifying the numerator by collecting like terms, we have negative 5x plus 8x is 3x. We have 20 minus 12, that's positive 8, over the denominator of 20.